This is a demonstration of Smart Spectrum, the audio analyzer app from Studio 6 Digital. Smart Spectrum is a single channel audio analyzer and was developed in cooperation with Rational Acoustics. We've worked hard to maintain as much of the look, feel, and functionality of the single channel portion of the full Smart app as adapted to the iOS platform. Some of the proprietary algorithms have been supplied by Rational Acoustics. Smart Spectrum works well with the built-in iOS device mic, but for the best pro results, pair it with our iTest mic, iPrecision mic, or iAudio interface too. Smart Spectrum is available as an in-app purchase in the Audio Tools app or as a standalone app. We're going to start demonstrating on iPhone and at the end switch over to iPad. First, let's have a look at the graph smoothing and resolution options available. We have all of the banding choices from octave through 148th octave resolution. For the most detailed audio analysis, use 148th octave mode. In addition to all of the ISO octave bands, we've also included linear as well as the pure log or logarithmic mode. The touch GUI allows you to pan and zoom both the frequency and magnitude scales using the iOS pinch zoom gesture. To fit the full plots back to the screen, just double tap. Swipe across the screen to bring up a cursor and read out the exact frequency and dB levels. Now let's look at the graph type options that are available. In addition to the RTA bars, you can bring up RTA lines or RTA and FFT. That mode shows you the raw FFT along with the bars. Let's have a look at that in octave mode. One of the great features of Smart is the spectrograph, and we've included that as well. Spectrograph is a tool that maps the intensity of sound at a given frequency to a color map. Now let's look at a mode that's unique to the iOS app. That's Spectrograph Plus Lines. In this mode, we're able to touch the right side of the screen to take control of the two triangular spectrograph limit markers. These markers define the upper and lower ends of the dB scale that is used to set up the color map. As we move these up and down, guidelines appear to show the limits and the color map changes in real time. When we tap the play pause button to freeze the display, we can swipe backwards to see the recent spectrograph history. Let's have a look at some of the setup options and see how that affects spectrograph. If we turn on vertical run, the spectrograph will run from bottom to top, and we can also change the speed at which the spectrograph moves across the screen. In this mode, when we pause the display, we can go backwards and see the previous activity. Also, we can pinch zoom the screen to zoom in on any part of the frequency display. We can also use the cursor to read out frequency. Here's how the spectrograph looks as we increase the resolution of the display. Now we're going to have a look at the averaging options available in Smart. We can select a specific number of FFTs to average, or we can pick one of the exponential time decay options from 1 to 10 seconds, or fast or slow. We can also select infinite averaging, which continuously averages FFTs, resulting in a very stable display that is the overall average of the runtime. Let's look at some of the other options that we have available. Smart includes a pop-up generator with options for sign, square, white noise, and pink noise, including swept signs. In addition to setting the spectrograph run speed and run direction, you can also enter specific dB levels in for the top and bottom marker that control the color display. There are also options for setting the FFT size or setting the plot weighting to A, C, or flat. You can set the peak tracking to on or a large number, select the SPL weighting and the mode fast or slow. Audio pass-through allows you to listen to the signal as you're testing it. Saving and recalling plots is easy and smart. Tap the folder icon to bring up the Save Recall screen and just type the name of a file. When you're done, just hit Store File. To recall the file, go to the list, select it, and say Recall. The recalled file will be shown in a different color on the screen. Let's switch to RTA Lines to see this a little more easily. If you're interested in the difference between the running plot and the stored plot, just turn on Difference Mode. Now it subtracts the two and the difference is shown on the screen relative to zero. You can use the cursor to read off the exact dB in frequency. There's a quick way to save a file. Just hold your finger on the folder icon and in a couple of seconds it'll save a new file, as you're seeing here. If you'd like to see the average of those files, just go over to the setup screen and turn on average plots. Now we see the difference between all the average plots and the current running trace. If we turn off difference mode, you can then see the average plots together with the live trace. 
That completes our demonstration of Smart running on iPhone. Now we're going to switch over to the iPad and see how it looks there. Apple's policies allow you to install an app on as many devices as you have connected to the same iTunes account. Smart Spectrum on iPad works very much like it does on iPhone. We have the same type of banding, plots, and averaging. In addition to this, we also have the ability to put two plots on the graph at the same time in split-screen mode. You can see RTA bars and lines at the same time, or put the spectrograph on one of the displays. Let's switch to the setup page and have the spectrograph run vertically. In this mode, it uses the same frequency axes as the RTA. So, when we pan and zoom, both plots move together. You can also use the cursor to read out specific frequencies. This concludes our demonstration of Smart Spectrum for iOS by Studio 6 Digital.